right there on the right. Okay, been there a few times over the years. That's a historical part of Aberdeen, and we're coming into the area of Old Bethesda. Church on the left that's been there for many, many years, and this sign that's hard to see right now, but hey, there we go, right through here, Bethesda Cemetery, Bethesda Presbyterian Church. As we make our way down into Aberdeen, North Carolina, our first stop is going to be where the location where our mom was born. We're coming into historic downtown Aberdeen, North Carolina. Downtown to the left. And nice old homes here along the way. And then we're going to make a right. hill almost to the railroad tracks but I may be on the wrong street I think uh, yes we are we need to go left right yeah we gotta go left so we're heading down South Street the location where my mom was born is over here to the left. We'll probably have to pull over to the right and park and then we'll show the property. You can probably go down a little farther, Gail. The property is actually right up there. We'll have to get out so we can see. So we're right here by the railroad tracks on South Street, Aberdeen, North Carolina. And the house where our mom was born was right up here on this bluff. 100 years ago the house is gone it has been moved to pine bluff which is another town nearby this is the location don't know exactly where the house sat i would think it would be up in here one hundred years ago i'm right here of course the story we've been told is that uh, grampy our grandfather uh, when our grandmother was in pain giving birth to our mother, he said, oh my gosh, what did I do? <laughs> was, what did I do? Well, it all worked out because we had a wonderful mom and wonderful grandparents. 100 years ago, looking up into the sky. With the sun shining down on us. April 10th, 1922, right here. Thank you, God. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Grammy and Grampy. We love you. We're looking at the location of Bernie Hardware from 1925. Um, actually, our grandfather left the business in 1945, taken over by J.C. Robbins and some other folks. Is currently owned by the Rensdale family. They've moved it up to a different location. Uh, unfortunately, the property burned back in the early 2000s. It was kind of a uh, antique store or something like that. And unfortunately, it's gone. But this was part of our family's history right here. That's all the original brick. Yeah, that's all original brick. So this is the location where Bernie Hardware was for many years. Um, big part of our heritage. Um, um, Thank you, Grampy, for being you. This is the site of the original Bernie Hardware, originally Bernie and Foley Hardware. They went their separate ways, started in 1921. Uh, so the year after, uh, a year before our mom was born, now that I think about it. Uh, but then uh, in 1925, uh, the property was built on South Street, uh, and that became Bernie Hardware, which unfortunately burned down as we saw before. So this is another historical part of the Bernie family here in Aberdeen, North Carolina. This is Page Memorial Church, uh, my mother's church when she was growing up here in Aberdeen, North Carolina. Her father, my grandfather, was um, head of the Sunday school program. 
and uh, she and my dad, Alexander James Bethune, were married here in June 1944. And then we've got some people doing some Easter eggs. What y'all doing, Easter eggs? going to see the Bernie house as it's now called where uh, my mom grew up um, from sometime in the 20s till she went away to college and then got married to our dad so we're coming down the street here and it's actually been refurbished and uh, here it is over here to our left I so believe and there it is look at that looking good wow so, and Gail's, my sister Gail and Mark, they've been inside the house. It was refurbished and really looks great inside. This place was being run down for a while, but now it's just, look at it. Beautiful, perfect, just like uh, when our grandparents and our mom lived here and our Uncle Don as well. Okay, thank you. This is the home of JC and Jean Robbins, 1000 North Poplar, Aberdeen, North Carolina. Dear friends of my grandparents and my mom and me, um, JC and some partners bought Fernie Hardware after uh, my grandfather left the business in 1945. Uh, I kept in touch with the family and was honored to be a pallbearer in JC's funeral service uh, back a few years ago. Jean made it to 100, almost 101, and died recently, but it was during the COVID time, so I wasn't able to be here for a service. Love you both. God bless you. You're part of the Bernie family without question. This is 412 North Summit where my grandparents and my mom lived from sometime in the early 1920s until maybe late 1920s when they moved to Montfort Street. Uh, some happy times for my mom at this location. I see part of it. I remember seeing some pictures that were taken here. We love you, mom and grandpa and grampy. God bless you both.